We're here for Epcot's Festival of the Holidays. Let's eat. Hello everyone, I'm Jay. And I'm Sam. You're watching the Theme Park Foodies and this is our first time ever experiencing Epcot's Festival of the Holidays. And this is probably, for us, the festival that we've been most looking forward to since we've moved to Yeah, experience. it's the shortest festival. It only goes until December 30th, but there's so much to do. Yeah, uh, so, there's, so there's 15 food booths, I think? 15 right? food booths, uh, holiday overlays. Yes, Guardian. like Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, it's holiday music. Yeah, uh, there's living also living with the land. Yes, cannot forget living with the land. In my mind. There's also uh, throughout World Showcase, they tell tales of different cultural depictions of the Christmas or the holidays. Uh, so I hope we stumble upon a few. The one from Norway uh, always seems to be the most interesting mm -hmm. uh, one of all. I like the witch. Yeah, the, from, from Italy. Italy. Yeah, uh, I think we'll be skipping the Italy food though. What I do like about those uh, cultural stories too is it, it kind of goes to that edutainment that Epcot was centered in when it first opened. Uh, so I'm excited. The candlelight processional. Yes, I don't think we'll be able to do the candlelight processional. Yeah, there's today. just this festival though. Get your book. There's yes. Cookie will, stroll. There's yes. a lot going on. We might do a cookie stroll because you don't need to get all the cookies for the cookie stroll. I believe you just need to get five cookies. So we may tr attempt that. But our main thing is just trying out some of these seasonal food booths and trying out some of the food they have here for the holidays all across Epcot. Uh, I'm excited for that donut box well, that, eggnog. That, that's what I was going to say. Eggnog. <laughs> also, the Germany stuff looks really good as well. Uh, there's so much to eat and do for this festival. I'm really excited to be able to experience it uh, for the very first time. Um, and, oh, yeah. the light show on yes. Spaceship Earth. We're going to try to do as many of those things as we can, just so you know they do exist. <laughs> uh, but uh, we're going to be trying to hit each thing up. We will mostly focus on food and be ready what we eat from 1 to 10. If you enjoy the content, please like and subscribe. Join us for our first time ever experiencing Epcot's Festival of the Holidays. All right, so first things first, we're headed to Donut Box. I'll be stumbling upon the Jaminators looking festive. We've made it to Donut Box. They have a lot of festive offerings here. The chocolate peppermint donut, eggnog, eggnog filled cream donut. Um, I think Sam's looking at that gingerbread milkshake too. I'm actually looking at that myself. All right, so we got the gingerbread shake and we got the eggnog donut. Now Sam, I don't feel like Donut Box was a, a like festival of the holidays original, right? I'm not sure. All yeah. the festivals blend together. <laughs> I feel like it was like food and wine or a festival of the arts. You can probably hear test track going on behind us. So that is a gingerbread milkshake. You can get it spiked. Yeah, you can get one with vodka. This is not the vodka one, obviously. It's cute. I like that it's small because we have like a lot to try, so. Unfortunately, um, the usual like a uh, like, uh, cool down area is closed. So they have these stands next to test track it's so good well let's, let's see how that gingerbread man is this is up there for me oh, i want to try it now at first it's like a little bit sweet and then you get like the cinnamon and the gingerbread spice that's what you want but it's not too spicy like it's like a perfect blend oh my God. this feels very christmasy I am a milkshake man. Eight. You said you're going eight? Nice. You just said, I just made him try it. I said OMG, like this is so good. It's like, it's perfect. That's fire, man. All right, should I break this in half or do you think I should, I'll cause it too much of a goo to pour out? I feel like that's your MO though. Okay, so um. We went with the wettest of donuts. <laughs> the gooeyest of donuts. All right, so um, I think I'm just gonna try to bite in the center. Okay, so most of it 
So it's like ginger snap cookies on mm -hmm. top. I think there's like a, the icing is like cinnamon and then an eggnog filling. I need to get into it more. Let's... Oh, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> it's contained. Yeah. You can see the eggnog right there. I have like high hopes for this one. It's good. It's real good. I'm a fan of Boston cream, so it's like a bo it's like a Christmas Boston cream. I really like this too, Sam. Like the shake is the shake might be the star for me though. Um, I'm gonna give this a seven. I really, I, it's really good actually. I'm not gonna go into eight category. I'm gonna give this a seven. I'm gonna give, I'm gonna agree with your eight on this. Both these options are really good. I think honestly better than the original donut donut box iteration that I had. Donut box always has like one thing that really just slaps every time. Here at the Odyssey, it looks like they have a Moose Crunch. Mouse. Mouse Crunch. Moose. <laughs> Sponsored by M&M's. You can also meet Santa now in the Odyssey. I'm not sure. I feel like they would probably have a QR code for something like this. Uh, but we can see how long the line is for yeah, Santa. I think we just probably just walk up. All right. What do I know? All right. Well, we'll find out. Let's 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 let you know. Santa's on his way out. Actually, we just missed him. But yes, you you could just walk up and meet Santa in here. I like how he's just walking out. Like <laughs> as we walk in. Yeah. I do really like how they decorated the Odyssey, and it kind of looks like it's snowing right there in the background in the area where you meet Santa. Like here's where you could find the gingerbread cookie. They also have a spaceship Earth cookie. Yeah, I feel like we had to get something. And I think here is the mouse crunch. It's all desserts here. <laughs> First cookie on the stroll. I feel like we had to go with the gingerbread cookie. We started with an all gingerbread shake. And gingerbread la cookie. last week we visited the Grand Floridian and the boardwalk for the yeah. gingerbread. And like, we've been eating so much gingerbread. Like, I feel like I am a gingerbread man. So like ginger woman settles at this point. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> ginger person. Yeah. Ginger settles my stomach and milk destroys it, so I wonder what's happening in my stomach right now. I don't want to know. <laughs> so let's, I'm going to see consistency. This guy seems feels look, soft. Yeah, it doesn't seem super crunchy. Mm. Soft cookie. It reminds me of the boardwalk gingerbread. Which we liked mm -hmm. over the gingerbread shingle mm -hmm. from the Grand Floridian. Shingle. Not a shank. That's what I said. It's good. Um, it's a little dry. I'll give it a, I'll give it a six because like, it's enjoyable. It's not bad. It's good. I'm eating it on a scroll, so it's elevating it to a six. But like a standard. We're gonna get a prize at the end. We're gonna get a prize yeah. for eating this cookie. So that's why it's going to a six for me. Sam has differing thoughts on the cookie than I do. I went with four. Really. It's very dry. It is very dry. It's the weakest of all the gingerbread items that I've had in the past like two. Weeks. I thought the, sh the shingle was more dry than that, but we can disagree. Bread, not a cookie. This is true. This is true. And it was good for coffee. Okay. The flavor for Sam goes to four. All right. All right, so we skipped Mexico, Sam, because I just feel like I never feel super impressed with Mexico and nothing really stuck out to me from that food. Uh, but I'm sure there's some great items there. We have shot ahead to Shanghai to get the noodle bowl with some braised beef. Uh, what else is in this, Sam? Uh, green onion and house-made chili oil. Okay. Uh, the skewers also looked really good when we were picking it up, and too. I'm, uh, yeah, definitely gonna come back, get the spring rolls, too. I'm trying to, uh, probably should've got a knife. A little spice. A little spice. Chili oil, mm -hmm. we'll do that. Did you get any beef yet or no? Yeah, the beef is very tender. It's good. It's okay. It's straight up linguine spaghetti. Like it's, it doesn't really taste like an Asian noodle. The, the broth and the, and the beef definitely do. It's good, not spectacular. I'll give it a six. I'm enjoying it. The, the beef is tender. The broth is good. A little bit of spice. Could use some things to elevate it, but it's tasty enough. I think it's good. They are making custom cartoon ornaments for the season. Uh, it's, it's right like outside we did, Germany. We did the custom cartoon cork for yes. the food and wine. We definitely had to come back for a Frank yes. ornament. All right, so 
Germany's always one of our favorite booths, Sam, right? Yes. Yeah, and uh, they have a cheese fondue this year. They always got some cheese going on in Germany. Uh, they also had a pork schnitzel we didn't get. I'm hearing very positive things about. And the next cookie on our cookie stroll, which is? Linzer. Yes, I'm a big fan of Linzer cookies. Uh, Grandma always promoted the Linzer to me. <laughs> so I'm going to try this. I feel like that generation fondue. just supported Linzer. That was like the They're a big fan that of was the go-to. That was good. It doesn't smell as stinky as the raclette when you <laughs> definitely does not have the raclette stink. I'm gonna try it with a little piece of bread now. That is a sharp, delicious cheese. I like how it's in like a little bread bowl. I like how they gave you the pieces that they cut out of the center and mm -hmm. put them on the side. Now, if I was providing this just like based off the cheese itself, I might go nine, but I really like how sharp it is. It's gooey too. I like this type of cheese. It does have a little stank to it. So you don't like a little stank. Might not be your thing, but I do. I'm gonna give it an eight. I, I really enjoy it. That thing is already falling apart. It's a very tender linzer. Yeah. <laughs> Is that like a premier linzer? It is, but it almost is like cake. I wish it just had a little more sturdiness to it so that it wouldn't just crumble. Is it very it's moist? Yeah, it's very, super moist. That's why it's falling apart. And the jam is really, really good. I think I'm gonna go eight. Yeah, I think Germany- And I'm not even yeah. like a linzer, like linzer person. Germany generally has good stuff. I'm, we definitely gotta go back for the pork schnitzel one vlog. Uh, but yeah, these are out of the three booths we've tried. I think these are the top two for me so far. Although I really did like Donut Box. You know, Sam and I. You've seen our vlogs before. You know that. What did we skip, Sam? Italy. Yeah, beautiful area. Um, I think the show is very cool with the uh, witch, but food doesn't impress us. If you enjoy it, we're happy for you though. All right, so America has its very own Christmas tree, Sam. Yes, at the, at the American holiday table, they have a full roasted turkey dinner. It's got some mashed potatoes, cranberry and sauce. Stuffing. Oh. I mean, this is the best value to me. String beans, I think, what was it, six bucks? Six dollars. Nice. Meat, potatoes, a vegetable, some garnish. We also stamped off our next cookie. And we have like five minutes till the witch show. Yeah, we gotta so try we gotta to, Yeah, we're trying to hustle. Hustle and bustle. So a true gut check. Also, I had chicken parm for Thanksgiving, so this is my Thanksgiving. Yeah. Two days later, I'm getting a real Thanksgiving meal. Yeah, we weren't able to have turkey, unfortunately. They ran out of place and ate it. This is legit. This is really good. Is it like Boston Market good, or? Yeah. I like Boston Market. I'm a fan. I like the little crunchy onions too. We're gonna try to get some of this cranberry sauce. This is so good. I gotta get some stuffing. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. How is all of it six dollars? Yeah, no, that's definitely a solid value. I like the stuffing to be a little like crunchier, mm -hmm. but everything tastes really good. Like this is a little Thanksgiving in a bowl. My favorite part is the crunchy onions, and then it just makes it. So what do you give it, one out of ten? For the value, I'm going nine. Oh, wow. Wow. Like, you know, Home-style yeah. cooking. Home-style cooking. All right, chocolate crinkle cookie. And Sam, this thing is a true crinkle. It's falling apart. I'm a fan of the crinkle. Let's try to get more cookie. Mm. The linger is still top. This is very chocolatey, very good. Like a sharp chocolate. Oh, the candlelight processional is going on behind us. They have dining packages for the candlelight processional, and they also have same day ones too, like at some of the quick service. Like I think Regal Eagle is on the list. I think we should try to do that one day. 
We do that for each of the beat, and it worked out really well. Yeah. Subscribe if you haven't. You may jump in and do that. Um, this is very good. Um, I like how it crinkles. I like the sharpness <laughs> of the chocolate. I like how the other flavors in it accentuate the chocolate flavor. I'm going to give it a six. I need you to try the turkey. Okay. The Thanksgiving. You have to tell me twice. <laughs> I wanted to get a little bit of stuffing on there. For me, the weakest was the stuffing. I like just a little more like, like crunchier stuffing. But it's good. I would go eight for value. I wouldn't go quite nine. But I still think it's very Maybe good. Maybe I was just missing the fact that I didn't have turkey at this Thanksgiving, and now I'm making up for it. I get that nice. And I'm, the candlelight processional is going on, and I'm sitting next to a beautiful tree. <laughs> it's, it's a good time. I'm having a good time. Today, we are, no, we are not going to fly today. We need to be very quiet, yes? I need you to be a good girl. No magic tonight, okay? I do oh, oh, naughty. I want you to sit here. I want you to think about what you have done. Huh? Bah, excuse me. She very, very nervous this evening. But, you know, she have a reason to be nervous. Um, per favore, mi amici, have you seen any uh, uh, mean, bad witches in here tonight? Huh? No? No bad witches? Oh, oh, no, she no look like a bad witch. I know what a bad witch look like. You're safe, and I can say to you, Buon Natale, see? Buon Natale, yes. Do you know what does this mean, Buon Natale? Hmm? Merry Christmas, see? Buon Natale is Merry Christmas. Andiamo, andiamo, yes? I have a beautiful story for you tonight. I'm a very good witch, yes? This is why I disguise myself, because the mean witches, oh, they tease me. That's not very nice, huh? No. But you know my name, La Befana, it means gift giver. Yes, I am the gift giver in my country, Italia. So if you have been very, very good, then I bring toys and goodies and sweets, yes? But if you have been maybe not so very good, what do you think I might bring then, huh? Everybody knows this. Oh my goodness, America, I will have to keep an eye on you, yes? <laughs> now, here in America, you have a different gift giver, no? Is that right? Who brings toys at Christmas time? Is Santa! Oh, well, I must tell you something. I have been bringing gifts down the chimneys of the Bambini a long time before old Saint Nick was even a Bambino himself, huh? Now, Santa Claus, what does he fly up on? Hmm? He's on a sleigh, yes? And what pulls the sleigh? Mm. Mm. Yes, the magical reindeer. Well, that must be very nice, huh? But poor old love, Bafana does not have a sleigh. So what do you suppose Bafana flies, huh? Oh, you think on the broom? On the broomstick, see, because I am a witch. You know when La Bafana come to visit you? Ah, yeah, yes, beautiful. I wait a little while after Christmas. I visit you on January the 5th. This is the eve of the Epiphany. And would you like to know why? Okay, everybody has had supper, we are tired, okay. Everybody say to me, oh, why La Befana? Why La Befana? Well, I'm very glad you asked me. Now, there are very many ways that my tale is told, but this is very special story just for you, yes? And it starts with sand. And camels, oh, and no running water. We were very stinky back then, yeah? Now, once upon a time, more than 2,000 years ago, Italia was an empire. 
much, much bigger than she is today. And this empire stretched out far into what we call the Middle East. And it is why the sky is so bright these last few nights. And I was beginning to be a little bit irritated with it because, you know, hmm, was keeping me awake at night, huh? But I was so excited, so caught in the story to find the young king that the travelers asked me to come along. And for a moment, oh, I am filled with such a longing to follow the star. And then I think to myself, I think, what? Oh, love of fun. You pazzo. Hmm? You crazy. Camels. Stars. Strange men in the middle of the night. <laughs> this is never a good idea, okay? So I say, no, I am sorry. La Befana cannot come. So the travelers go on to Bethlehem without me. But I stand outside in the night for a while. I look up at the star. I wonder. And a few days later, a young shepherd comes running into my village and he says to me, Hey, La Befana, how come you no go to the Bethlehem? Everybody is talking about the baby king that was born, born in a poor little stable. But Befana, everybody is saying he is the son of God. And just then the sky opened up. Oh, it is filled with the most beautiful light. La Bufana can hardly look. It is as if the star of the little king bursts open into glory. And then the sound, oh, the sound of angels singing. <laughs> So many, many angels, like nothing that I had ever heard before. Well, I had seen all of the fancy gifts of the kings. I do not want to be empty-handed, huh? So I look, oh, and I search, but all that I can find are just old scraps of wool. But from those scraps of wool, I make a little doll. Ah, oh, she's better than nothing, huh? Oh, I am so excited. I will go to the Bethlehem. I will see this young king. And I run outside to follow the star. And it is gone. The beautiful star is gone. La Bafana waited too long. But now, what will I follow to find the young king? And from that moment, I begin to search for the Yesu Bambino, for the Christ child. And on the eve of the Epiphany, that is when the wise men come into Bethlehem, I climb down into the chimneys and I look into the faces of the children. And I think to myself, what if it is you? Oh, what if? You are the Christ child. And you know, when they are sleeping, you think it could be so, huh? And even though I do not yet find the Yesu Bambino, when I look into these beautiful faces, oh, they remind me of the miracle of that star. And so I leave a little gift. Now, Maybe you are thinking, oh my, well, La Befana, this is a very sad story, no? No, not so. You see, in Italia, Christmas time is a time of great celebration when we gather our family together, see? The grandmothers, the grandfathers, the aunts, the uncles, the cousins, and we cook. Oh boy, do we cook. <laughs> so we ended up missing the Spaceship Earth holiday show because we wanted to see La Bafana. I really wanted to catch one of those, uh, you know, Christmas stories from like the, uh, or the cultural depictions of these different Christmas stories. So she was great, right Sam? I want to be her friend. Like, she's accepting <laughs> friendship applications. Oh.
So that's, it, you can see a lot of the parallels between Santa Claus and La Bufana, which is uh, nice to hear. Um, I think we're going to actually head over um, to see if we could find, is it like a Hanukkah booth? There? Lahayim. Lahayim. Oh, they have one of the cultural actors for Hanukkah. Let's try to see if we can catch some. And on each side is a Hebrew letter. Nun, Gimel, Hey, and Shin. These four letters form the acronym of the phrase, a great miracle happened there. By playing dreidel during Hanukkah, we are reminded of the bravery of the Maccabees. So every year, my family and families around the world play dreidel. And while we play, we sing the classic dreidel song. I'm sure you've heard it before, and I could sing it for you now, but I'm gonna need some help. So I'm going to recruit all of you to be my collective volunteer, my choir here, if you will. Don't worry, I will take care of most of the words, okay? I just need the rest of you to be in charge of one very important word. Do you think you can guess what that word is? Dreidel! Dreidel, you're very quick, very good. <laughs> so, here's what's going to happen. When I raise the dreidel high in the air like this, I need you all to say nice and loud. Dreidel! Just like that, let's try it with the song. I have a little dreidel. I made it out of clay. And when it's dry and ready, then dreidel. I will play. Oh, dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. I made it out of clay. And when it's dry and ready, then dreidel. I will play. Let's try it really fast now. Ready? Three, two, one. Dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. I made it out of clay. And when it's dry and ready, then dreidel. I will play. Give yourselves a round of applause, my choir. That was delightful. Tonight we remember Judith with her own cunning bravery. She assassinated a general and saved her people! <laughs> Whoa, Bobby. Oh. Today in northern African countries, they celebrate Chag Havana, the festival of the daughters, in honor of the strong women connected to the Jews' battle for freedom, like Judith. Oh, and then when I was in Argentina, I heard the most wonderful language. There, many Jews speak in a unique Judeo-Spanish language called Ladino. Oh, and the music. Oh my goodness, the music is more beautiful than the language. Manakulinda hasta aquí, ocho candelas para mí. Manakulinda hasta aquí, ocho candelas para mí. Oh, una candelica, dos candelicas, tres candelicas, cuatro candelicas. Cinco candelicas, seis candelicas, siete candelicas, ocho candelas para mí. The candles are burning low. One for each night, they shed a sweet light to remind us of days long ago. One for each night, they shed a sweet light to remind us of days long ago. The, the uh, Hanukkah show was so nice, right? It was. He was he really... He was so talented. They all, they all are. Yeah, no, they all are. Yeah. Um, just the uh, the integration of the music with the story, I wasn't expecting. Um, I really appreciated and enjoyed it. I thought it was a, a perfect way to kick off us trying out the Lakayam booth. Right? And I feel like I don't have many opportunities to sing the dreidel song, so <laughs> it worked out good for me. Yeah. Um, so we got um, some traditional uh, Jewish food, lakas. Uh, these are actually vegan. And gluten, are they gluten free? They're potato latkes. Um, I know they're vegan. Uh, and they have some sauce on top. We also punched another cookie on our stroll, the black and white cookie. Uh, this one looks very good. I'm gonna try the latkes out first. See how it'll savory and sweet. Mm. They look crispy, they look nice. It's a good latke. <laughs> it's falling. That's good. Could be cooked just a little bit more. The outside's crispy, the inside is a little soft. Maybe a little bit more crispiness. Very reminiscent of a hash brown. Um, I like the sauce on it on top. I'm gonna give it a seven. I think it's good. I'm not a laka connoisseur though. So to forewarn you, I do not eat lakas regularly. So maybe it could be an average laka, be even better than I think it is. But for me, it's a seven. It don't matter if you're black or white. Are you standing on something? Yeah, I'm standing I'm on I'm like, curve. why are you? I'm very I grew two <laughs> inches. I'm gonna try to try to bite right in the center. Should I do one bite white, one bite black? Do both at once. Both at once? Yeah.
I used to call those Joey cookies when I was younger because you know the brand Joey's they used to have in the stores. Yeah. I mean, in New York, you get these at Jewish Jellies all the time. Yeah. And that bakeries, they're everywhere in yeah. New York. Taste of it. Mm. I think I like the chocolate side. Mm. <laughs> I like both sides. You need milk. The cookie portion is thicker than what I'm used to in New York. Oh yeah. Although not bad. Um, it's it does taste fresh though. Like the chocolate isn't like hard. It's like a soft chocolate. Like more of like a uh, frosting I, esque. Yeah, more of like an know. icing than like a like a shell. I coating. I like it. I like a little thinner black and white, so you get a little bit more of that sweet sweetness. But this could offset a little bit of the sweet with that more cookie, and you can enjoy it more. For me, it's still good though. And um, I'm gonna give it a six. Not that I think like, remember six is one above average. I don't think it's bad by any means. Just my type of black and white from New York. A little bit larger, a little bit thinner. Still good though. So Sam, you're not a fan of the black and white, right? I'm a fan of black and white cookies, but not that black and white cookie. Real? You don't like the, the cookie part? It's like Play-Doh to me. Not that I'm like regularly eating Play-Doh, but like it's just weird. Okay. I didn't like it. Now, the icing was good, but this part, not good. You can let people know that you regularly eat Play-Doh. We won't judge. <laughs> um, so what would you give it, one to ten? Three. Jeez. I wouldn't All right. All right, they got to do better on the black and white for you. And it's got some Christmas music going on as well. All right, the final boss, Canada. Okay, final boss, Sam. <laughs> Canada, Canada. I got the scallops. You actually, you're not a fan of seafood, but you've liked scallops before, Sam. Right, remember? Chico? Yes, you had scallops at Chico. Um, scallops, I mean, if you get a good scallop, they're not fishy. I feel like, you know, they could pass off kind of like a very tender meat. Hmm. It's very sweet. I was like, hmm, it's not really the reaction I thought you were going to have, but... What I like about finishing with fish is fish is very light and flaky, so it's not like I'm trying to down like a bread or a starch. You know? As there's like a cookie sitting, a giant cookie sitting The cookie's going to be the hardest thing, yeah. But that cookie, it's the Snickers doodle. Snicker doodle, little Snickers on top. I like that, that thought that I kind of had. <laughs> That's our final cookie. Next, next thing you know, we'll be having the end cookie. Um, and we get a pin too, right? A Guardian's pin. Mm. And then we're gonna go on Guardian's. Yep, that's the final thing we'll be doing. I think it's seven. I think they're very tender. I'm not tasting like a fishiness to it. Um, it's very hard to do mass produced fish. I, so anyone that tries it, I respect. <laughs> a little too sweet for my taste knocks it down a bit but it's very flaky very tender i'm really enjoying this, enjoying the scallop um you could have a different like uh experience though you know these things are you know they could they could change the right, it's inconsistent stuff. it's exactly. a festival inconsistent. that was the word i was looking for <laughs> snickers doodle didn't you have a dog named snickers when you were younger or did i make that my up? mom had a dog named your snickers. mom did. That one looks like it's gonna be the best. I like Snickerdoodle with Snickers, just goes to the Makes sense. Oh, by the way, the black and white mm -hmm. was plant-based. Oh. And the lo you were right, the lockers were uh, vegan and gluten-free. There you go. I'm wondering if that's why the cookie tasted weird to me. Yeah. Wow, I really like that. I still don't think it beats the Linzer, but this is probably number two on my list. The Snickerdoodle mixed with like the peanuts and the caramel, and then with the little chocolate drizzle on top, just the perfect like texture ratio and flavor ratio. They all complement each other. 
I'm gonna give that a solid seven. Almost eight category. I won't go eight because I put Windsor at eight. But you know, that's, that's really good. All right, so sweets and treats is where you get your award cookie after finishing the cookie stroll. They also have a chocolate peppermint shake and a hot cocoa. All right, we did it. Thank you. All right, we got it. Yeah, we did it. We've Lo talked about doing de this. Yes, we've been talking about doing this for years. We finally completed our first cookie stroll. I'm so excited. We've watched so many videos and vlogs <laughs> on cookie strolls. So I'm excited, like I'm happy. And we, we I don't our... think we thought we were gonna actually do this today. Yeah, we didn't. Um, we, we thought that the it would be too much with the food and the cookie stroll, but we just figured, why not? When in Epcot, you know? I don't need to sleep tonight. My stomach can bother me. Uh, and we got our completer cookie. It's very pretty. I'm not gonna eat it right now because I think the cookie stroll is one. I am I am cookied out. Uh, but maybe if you wait at the very very end of this video, maybe even after that we're done talking. Maybe I'll try it then another day. Uh, but I don't even want to eat it because it looks so nice, right? It does look really nice. And you get this pin. The pin is really cool. It's for the holiday special. It promotes the Guardians holiday special, which has been just released on Disney Plus. We are big fans of the Guardians of the Galaxy films. I am very excited to be able to watch this with you, Sam. We have the time to see again. Also, we're like novice pin collectors, and I feel like we're slowly like gonna start yeah, we're jumping into the, in. the pin lifestyle. Uh, I started with that Horizons pin. And now I'm just falling down the pin rabbit hole. Uh, but yeah, and now we're about to ride the holiday overlay for Guardians of the Galaxy, a Cosmic Rewind. And also, like, so with the, the I think all the cookies were $3 each, so we spent $15, yeah. right? Got five cookies, and then got the bonus cookie and a pin. So you for Disney value, like, that's... Probably 12 just on the pin. Yeah. They, they were selling them. Um, and you get a special cookie. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, a, I'm really happy with uh, our purchasing decisions. I also think the food was good, too. Um, we'll talk more at the very end about what we thought of like Festival of the Holidays as is, the things we got to be able to see and stuff. Uh, but are you ready for Cosmic Rewind, Sam? I'm ready. All right, let's go on. All right, Sam, this is our first time seeing the Epcot tree. It's very nice, right? It is a Yeah, it's huge. It has a, an angel at the top, I think. Is that an angel? I think so. Update, yeah, that is definitely an angel. What else would have wings like that? <laughs> it's like a bird. This tree is so nice. The ornaments are all the countries. You can see France up there. There's a Canada kind of hidden. And then right over here is the UK. It says happy holidays. I also really like the twinkling lights, Sam. I like the big garland. Yeah. Uh, you're not even a garland fan. Jumbo. I don't like garland on my own tree. I like garland on other people's trees. Oh, okay. Yeah, this, is, this, this tree does the garland well. It definitely, it's probably one of my favorite trees at Disney. All right, Sam. We made it. Cosmic Re Rewind Holiday Overlay. I've been really looking forward to this. Have you? I am, but I think it's just it's just one song. Yeah, there's not a mix. But we'll let you know what we think. We'll try to show as much as we can, as long as it's not copywritten. All right, we're on. All right, Sam, we got front row. Didn't even try. Okay, and for the jump point. This play is never gonna work. Rock it! Well, okay, I walked on your vehicle. We'll be right behind you. Nothing to worry about. We cannot stop this unusually large man. Then you're likely doomed.
Alright, so that does it for our time experiencing Festival of the Holidays here at Epcot for the very first time. Uh, uh, favorite festival? It's like, I, I was actually just saying to <laughs> Sam before we turned the camera on, it's like this and Festival of the Arts are like finding it out in my mind. I don't know which one I actually like more. And we, we still have so many more things to do at this festival. Like, we didn't even like scratch the surface. Yeah. We still have to meet Santa. Yeah, I want to meet Santa. I want to see more of the cultural on, representatives. We didn't go on Living with the Land. Yes, we were going to, there will definitely be another video where we do the overlay with that. This is really just cookie stroll, food crawl, experiencing Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewinds overlay for the first time. I do want to say I was expecting a more um, uh, to uh, almost uh, comparable to Mission Breakout, Monsters After Dark over in Disneyland. Mm -hmm. There it's a completely different pre-show. Um, it's kind of a completely different story. This is really just the same story, but they plugged in a holiday song. And I it's did gonna enjoy be the same song yeah. for the rest of the season. I did enjoy the holiday song. I liked writing it once, um, but uh, the standard version I definitely prefer more. And I was hoping for a bit more like integration into the story of the ride. Uh, you know, like throwing in a flash of that holiday theme maybe into what's happening um, on Guardians of the Galaxy or why they have to save um, the universe or the dust Terrans. But still, I enjoyed it. Yeah, but one of my favorite elements of that ride is not knowing what song you're gonna yeah. play. So like the fact that you're just always gonna get the same one for the holidays kind of Yeah, no. I, not I, that it's not amazing and it was still super fun. But. Yeah, I would agree with that. Um, I definitely think that Germany won the night as far as food goes. Fondue is the best. I think my favorite dessert was what I started with, which that gingerbread shake. Oh, the gingerbread shake was good. That I would go with the Linzer good. cookie, but yeah. The Linzer was definitely the top cookie. Yeah. Um, I loved doing cookie stroll for the first time. Uh, it's definitely up there with my favorite, one of my favorite festivals. Uh, given, I mean, I've heard mixed reviews this year. Um, this is my first time experiencing this. Maybe I'm taken aback by it, but I really enjoyed also, it. Also, like, we really need it. to check out the Candlelight Processional. Yes! We were passing by, and like, it looked yeah. really impressive and just seemed very larger than life, like yeah. everybody on the stage. We got to hear some of it, too, while we were eating at the America Pavilion. So I was happy we got a little taste, I feel like, of everything except maybe living with the land. So. It's uh, not very quiet. I think, oh, I think the holiday show's starting. Oh, did we catch the holiday show? It's eerily quiet. Ooh, we did this for you. Let's see what's happening.
All right, so that was the 40th anniversary show, not yeah, we got the holiday show, but we never saw it before. We didn't see it in person. So I was hyped to see it. it. Um, I did try to plug it in here. If it gets like flagged, I probably won't keep all of it. But I was happy we were able to see that still. If you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Liking will really help our channel grow and push this video out into the stratosphere of the YouTube algorithm. Helps other people find the video. Subscribing also helps our channel grow. Hit the bell notification so that way you're notified every time the videos come out, which is Wednesday? Every Monday and Thursday at 12 p.m. Thanks so much for watching. Don't count the days. Don't make the days count. We will see you next time. That's all, folks. All right. I'm going to eat this cookie now. The next morning, it fell apart in the bag, so it's not as pretty. Oh, I get... That's a coffee going off in the background. It's like a sweet shell. It tastes almost a little lemon to it. I don't know what type of cookie it is. It's good. Six.